Good morning, everyone. Pastor Jamie coming to you this morning with our daily devotional, Word in Season, Summer Edition, written by Evangelist Harold Hanks. Don't But Do, Part 2 is the title of today's devotion, Ephesians 4 and 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good, to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Yesterday, we started talking about don't but do. We see in the book of Ephesians where God gives us some don'ts, followed up with some do's. We're not to remain children spiritually, but to grow up. We're not to live corrupt lives, but holy and righteous ones. We're not to lie, but speak the truth. We're not to steal, but to give. Can you see how much better our lives will be if we keep these commandments? In verse 29, Paul continues, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. The word corrupt means bad, rotten, or worthless. Something doesn't necessarily have to be bad to be worthless. That is the don't, now the do. Latter part of the verse. That which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. If it doesn't edify, build up, and if it will not minister grace to those who hear it, don't say it. The next one is found in verse 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. That is the don't. Now the do in verse 32. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one, and give, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. We could sum this up by saying, don't be ugly, be kind. And the next one is found in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 4. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are con not convenient. That is the don't. Now the do, found in the latter part of that verse, but rather giving of thanks. Next one is found in verse 11 of chapter 5. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. That is the don't. Now the do, latter part of the verse, but rather reprove them. Next one is found in verse 15. See there that you walk circumspectly, not as fools. There is the don't. Now... Don't walk as fool as a fool. Now the do, latter part of the verse, but as wise. And then in the verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So there are some do's and there are some don'ts in this walk with God. But the don'ts are keeping us from sin and evil and the do's are helping us do the will of God and hear him say, well done at the end of this road. So don't, but do. Father, we love you. Thank you today that you have in your word don'ts and you have in your word do's. And we know that those don'ts will keep us away from the things that will hinder us spiritually and the do's will draw us so much closer to you. And I pray, God, that we will be a people that will apply this word to our hearts today and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and I hope you have a great day.